John Deere guarantees low fuel consumption figures, especially in transport applications on 6R six-cylinder models, 7R and 8R tractors. If you use more than the fuel consumption figure that we say, we'll give you your money back. But if you use less than that fuel consumption figure, we'll pay you back double. That's a pretty good deal, isn't it? Let's have a look at some ways that you can optimize your John Deere tractor to achieve low fuel consumption figures. The first focus area is on transmission settings. And our tip to you is to always use auto mode. Auto power, direct drive and E23 transmissions all have three different operating modes. They are auto, custom and manual. Custom mode allows the operator to adjust how the transmission and the engine work together. In some cases, experienced operators may be able to adjust this uh, relationship and achieve better fuel consumption figures. However, in over 90% of cases, it has been proven that auto mode will give you the best fuel consumption figures from the three modes. That is why we recommend you use auto mode. The second focus area is on your engine, and our tip is to limit your engine speed during transport. In light transport applications, the engine doesn't use its full power. In this situation, it's important to use the field cruise feature, which is on the tractor. This feature, we can limit the engine revs. So in light transport applications, we should limit the engine revs to between 1600 and 1750 RPM. This will guarantee you a low fuel consumption figure and also minimizes the losses in key components such as the transmission. Click on the engine quick access key and adjust your maximum engine revs from between 1600 and 1750 RPM. Under heavy transport conditions, field crews can also be used. This time, we'll use an area between 1800 and 1900 RPM. This is close to the point where the engine will deliver maximum power. I'll enter this into the display as well. The third area to focus on is regarding startup gears for mechanical transmissions. So if you have an E23 or direct drive transmission, we always recommend to select a startup gear. For mechanical transmissions, such as the E23 or direct drive, we recommend using a startup gear. This will prevent you having to go through unnecessary gear shifting to reach your maximum speed. In light transport applications on the E23 transmission, we recommend you use a startup gear number 14, and then heavy applications use startup gear number 9. For the direct drive transmission, in light applications, we recommend using C1 and in heavy applications using B6. Finally, we always recommend that you use your layout manager to set up your run pages so that you have the, the transmission modules and engine modules always visible. This will enable you to always ensure you're in auto mode and also enable you to activate the different field cruise settings and start up gears. Do you have some optimization tips that you'd like to share with our online community? If you do, leave your comments below in the comments area and we look forward to seeing your feedback. We'll see you in the next video.